Hey, so what's up? Uh, interest rates, they're rising, and uh, if you're a property investor, then this is for you because the landscape is changing and it's going to change and it's not going to go back to where it was. So if you're wanting to achieve your financial objectives, create that financial independence, create that financial freedom, then what adjustments are you making to your strategy, to your plan to ensure that you stay on track to essentially hit your goal. Now, <clears throat> this is the advice that I'm giving to all of the uh, individuals that I'm speaking to and potential clients coming through. With interest rates moving up, that's going to affect obviously your, your serviceability. So that's going to affect your ability to continue to purchase subsequent assets. So therefore, a portfolio review right now is critical because we need to understand the implications and the ramifications. I keep saying this in regards to how that is going to affect your financial objective. I see a lot of people at the moment that have got three, four, five investment properties. And when we look at the, the cost structure of the profit that those uh, properties are generating, they are never going to achieve their financial objectives. What they are banking on is hopefully with a prayer that, uh, that the market moves enough that then in 10 or 15 or 20 years time, the properties have grown at enough value that they can sell them down and therefore then uh, have some income coming from their properties. So that's great for those people, but what about if you are trying to acquire properties right now? Listen up, this is for you guys. So right now, there is income producing properties. This is what you need your focus to be on. So that's commercial property, duplexes, buying a house, building a, gr a granny flat on that, uh, purpose built rooming houses, are some of the options that are available to you, and these are the types of assets you should be looking at. Potentially, you may even need to sell off one of your assets to increase your serviceability so that you can purchase a property like this, so that you can then use the capital from that to be able to reinvest into something that's going to give you a significantly higher yield so that you can continue to pay down the debt of your other properties. And it may mean that over time, that is your strategy, that some of the lazy assets that you have, that you are selling them off, repurposing that capital, re-improve that borrowing capacity, continue to moving up. Because the old sort of methodology of uh, buy and hold for 15, 20 years, that strategy may get you there, but you just don't know because there's so many variables at play that you have no control over. Me personally, as a, as a, a business owner, as a property investor, I wanna have control and I wanna have certainty as much as possible that I'm gonna achieve that goal.